During his exclusive interview with Piers Morgan, the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak tried his best to say all the right things. But we managed to find one massive lie. Hello, beautiful people, freedom fighters and the left-wing trolls sitting in the back. We're going to come to you guys every half an hour today with a number of news stories. Uh, but first, we're going to do a bit, bit of a reaction to last night's uh, Piers Morgan interview with Rishi Sunak, Rishi Fish, Fishy Rishi or whatever we want to call him. <laughs> he keeps changing his name. Now, um, during the interview, technically, Piers Morgan was trying to come across as... Uh, quite tough and scrutinizing him but it was all still obvious questions like what is a woman and people were impressed that Rishi Sunak knew what a woman was how is that even impressive these days it's so it's so weird okay part of the interview was about his leadership campaign and uh, when he decided to run and stand for Tory leader there was a bit of a problem with uh, Rishi Sunak's answer let's go to this I was expecting I knew when I resigned when I resigned as Chancellor, I said at the time, I, that was probably, I, I knew that would be the last, I resigned thinking and believing that would probably then be the last senior job I had in politics. That's what I thought I was doing, and not to leave politics altogether, but as you said, I didn't expect to be in, in cabinet or serve in a position like this again. Um, so yeah, it came, it, the whole thing came as a pretty big surprise. Uh, 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 okay, Rishi. Um, so when he resigned as Chancellor, he had no plans, no ambitions, and he, he thought that was the most senior job he was going to have. No plan, nothing. <clears throat> All right, Mr. Sunak, let us do a bit of a reminder. Do you remember this a few months ago? This was your campaign to stand for Tory party leader. We already talked about this on the channel a few months ago, back during the leadership campaign. We discovered that Rishi Sunak and his team already put together a whole team and registered the website and the campaign team back in December 2021. <coughs> December 2021. So this was months before Boris Johnson resigned. This was in the middle of all the chaos of the party gate. So there were indications that uh, Boris Johnson might not survive till uh, the end of 2022. So it was perfect timing. Why not prepare your campaign? But why lie about it? That's the issue. So everybody was there. The advisors were there. The campaign team, the PR team were getting recruited. All the interns, everybody was ready. But somehow he says, I had no plans. I didn't really see myself doing anything more senior. But then he repeated the same thing for when Liz Truss resigned and, and he became prime minister. Look at this. You know, actually, I, I wasn't thinking about politics when Liz resigned at all. I was, uh, I was with my kids having lunch up, uh, up, up north at, in Teesside at TGI Fridays. And we were finishing off lunch and about to head to take them bowling. And I had somewhat moved on after everything that happened over the summer. Oh so my God, he has family time. He goes to TGI Fridays with his kids and he goes to Teesside. He's man of the people. And he, he was surprised. Then we found out, again, everybody was ready for the team. Team Rishi, the whole operation, all they had to do was just press a button. And then the whole thing started again. They had the cabinet ready. They had Jeremy Hunt ready. Everything was ready for him. So maybe that's why, he, you know, you could just spend time in TGI Fridays and go bowling. <laughs> why lie about this? It just, it's just a little bit embarrassing and unnecessary when we have bigger problems right now in the country. And this guy is just going around talking nonsense. He, in fact, he started his campaign and ambitions back, back in 2020 when he was going around with his Eat Out to Help Out stuff with his hoodies, all these PR stunts and all these Instagram posts and selfies and everything else. Do you really think a, a humble politician who doesn't really care about publicity or is their future ambitions would do that? No, he clearly had ambitions even back then. That's why he, he had his peak Rishi. Everybody was talking about Rishi Sunak because he was giving them free money. Everybody was saying, oh, I like this guy. He's so smiley and nice and innocent and he's the good cop and Boris is the bad cop. Then we discovered there's a bad cop and there's a worse cop. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come to you guys every half an hour today. So the best thing you can do is subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell. And feel free to 
Support independent media by becoming a member of the channel. You can find a join button and you could get a weekly Q&A sessions with me and direct video calls, Zoom video calls with me every Sunday. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.